to the channel. I'm Odai Jay, and we are locked in. We got the exclusive photos for episode two of Ghost season four. Now, we know that there's a war on the horizon, but Tariq somehow got a truce off. And with these exclusive photos, it's going to allow us to try to piece together what is next for Tariq and the crew versus Tejadas and Noma. Because you know it's about to go down this season. Now, before we jump into this and we break down these photos, if you like power content, recaps, theories, predictions, breakdowns like this, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. We on that road to 50,000 subscribers. I think we only need about 1200 more so if you don't see this at 100 likes hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because don't nobody break down a show like i do now let's go ahead and jump into it we got about eight photos here we're going to talk about it give some of the predictions hey friday is right around the corner so let's jump into it this is the exclusive photos for episode two in the trailer we know that don is going to run into Tariq. Now, Tariq is sitting here with a Stansfield polo on, and we're not sure if he's actually working at the Stansfield Cafe that was previously managed by Selim, where Diana was working. But we do know that Diana also has on this same polo in the trailer. Now, Don, he talked to Paz, and Paz told him that Tariq has something to do with Junior being on the lot. So in the trailer, seeing him talk to Tariq and saying you had something to do with it, and then that BS bogus story that Tariq told the police last week, we can go ahead and assume that Don is going to piece this together a little bit faster than any of the other police that we've ever had in the show. Now, these two, they're going to be at odds throughout the rest of the season. Maybe Rashad Tate can step in. We also know that there's going to be an interaction between Don and our boy Davis. Speaking of Davis, since he's suspended right now, he can't practice law. He has someone else at the Davis and Associates. This young lady right here, who is his assistant, who will be representing him while he's trying to go back up to the bar to prove to him that he deserves to be a lawyer. Now, I played a clip last night on our Monday mistakes, and we've seen that these two might potentially be getting it in, because one thing we know about Davis is if there's an attractive woman, it's gonna be consensual, because all the ladies don't love LL, they love Davis McLean. Now with Davis, in here as i mentioned the clip that dropped last night was between davis and don i don't believe we're ever going to see davis fold on Tariq per se because Tariq has been putting money in his pocket and at this point they kind of both have dirt on each other so it's kind of looking bright for davis but at the same time we're like uh we had the prediction of kane getting a little bit closer to noma we know that obi messed it up in episode one saying noma you shouldn't do this on your own so as Noma being a widow and single and on her own, Kane, he looks like the eligible bachelor. These two are going to be getting closer to each other because they have the same end goal, and that's take out Tariq St. Patrick. We know that there's a truce, but that's only because Noma needed to call this off so Tariq wouldn't expose them or bring more attention by taking out the federal agent, Junior. Now, Kane, he even said he was going to act like the text message didn't come through. So this is where we start to see the connection between Kane and Noma and their bond become a little bit stronger than what it needs to be. And what I mean by that is the boss sleeping with the help. They might get to that point. Monet's finally gonna get out of the hospital. And as we heard, Kane is gonna be telling her the game is different. And what he means by that is Noma's in charge. Tariq is no longer with us, but there's a truce. But we still need to take him out because we believe that he's the one that shot at you. Now, remember, Diana and Drew have switched up their story. Initially, they said it was Tariq, only for Drew to say it wasn't Tariq. Diana made that mistake. So, Kane, all he's going off of was the first initial report. Diana's trying to change it up. Now, there's some speculation that Diana may be pregnant by Tariq. And if this is the case and we start to see that, I can see her starting to take care of Tariq and trying to protect him. Monet. At this point, she can't trust any of her kids because she doesn't know where this hit came from. And believe it or not, the only person she can really take their word from is Tariq St. Patrick. So look out for those two to connect. Braden and Tariq, still gonna be a lot of running around. Tariq is still enrolled in school. Braden, he's on his own. Remember the family, they pushed him away because of what happened to Trace. They pushed him away because of kidnapping of Becca. So he doesn't have anything going on because Weston Holden's has pretty much went up under the SEC zone. 
So Tariq is going to be coming up with plans and he's going to have to finance Braden's lifestyle at the moment. There is a truce, but Tariq needs to go to school and start producing some money of his own. Even though Noma said he's not allowed to move any product, they got to find out a way to survive. He still owes Tate $5,000 a week. He still needs to make sure that he can get Davis on his side in case he needs some legal information, some guidance, not representation or, you know, saying information because he isn't a lawyer. But Tariq and Braden, it's going to be tough moving around the city with all eyes on them. Now, this could lead Braden to going around campus and asking people for information. How can they do such and such? Because we know that there's going to be an R&B group that's supposed to be introduced. So I don't know how they're going to play a role, but maybe Braden and Tariq can use them. Hey, you guys have concerts. We can put up the money for it. We could take some money off of the door, get some eyes on you just to make some money because they can't move that work. And if they're back on Stansfield campus, we're assuming that they finally got some kind of security that you can kind of depend on because you don't want to have me up there because it'd be more bodies and more dope slinging and nothing will get accomplished. We do see Tariq back in class. It's been a while, but he's sitting next to Brusandria. And if you know me, We've already exposed that Brusandria was the one that made all of this on campus hot because she put the drugs in Lauren's drawer and that went down that whole rabbit trail there. But Diana is also in the class. So Tariq and Diana, they're going to have some kind of interaction, some kind of conversation. But remember, Tariq is holding it over Diana's head that he knows about Drew and her plan. Even though Tariq wasn't the one to do the shooting, he still has the upper hand over her. Now, if she is pregnant, we're gonna see this relationship, her telling Tariq to come with her, and we're just gonna to have to see how that plays out. We did see in the season trailer that Tariq is him enough Salim, so maybe Salim is starting to go at Diana a little harder again because he's still mad from what happened last season. All right, there you go, the exclusive photos for episode two of Ghost. We're back on our grind. We're getting the photos, we're breaking them down. We got character descriptions coming up. Any character that drops after Friday, we will take that description and apply it to episode three and moving forward. And hey, this is the final season. Where else would you want to be? Then over here with Modi J. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit that by the end of June. So if you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm out.